Hi everyone, welcome back to the pregame skate. I'm Reagan Rust and we're streaming live on Facebook, YouTube and Twitch right now from Tampere, Finland. There was a ton of action that happened yesterday with two triple game days. So I'm going to take you through my top five moments from yesterday. All right, so the, for this first moment, we have Klingberg with a really clean skate across the crease and pulls it back just in time to get it away from the goalie and he hits it off the crossbar. So it was a really good opportunity that he had. He had a lot of patience coming across the crease. That was one of my top moments. Now this second goal here is by Grunlin. It was on a power play for Finland. It was a huge goal. The fans were going wild. He gets the pass back up top, just skates right in. The Lapia defender does not contest him and then he just snipes right above the goalie's pad. And it was an incredible moment for everyone there. This third moment is Ben Bounds. He got a penalty shot and it went post to post, hit his skate and then right back in. And as soon as it was going over to the goal line, he swiped it out. But the refs can't tell him. I learned that today. They can't help him at all. So he looked a little defeated at first, but then he figured it out, turned around, and swiped it out of the net. Then for the third one, we got Blickfield. He scored a hat trick. This was an insane game from him. He scored uh, three goals all in the same piece, all in the same area, basically all snipes, and all on the power play. So that was an unreal moment, I'm sure, for him and a great opportunity for him to lead his team. And then moving into my fifth moment of the day, we got Grubauer, he saved Germany. I can't believe the way that he played. Like this game was a huge one, both for Slovakia and Germany. So for him to come out on top and being able to make these big saves on odd man rushes, not letting up many rebounds, it was really cool to see. So on this one play here, he's coming down the ice. He leaves it for his teammate, shoots it off the pad, gets the rebound, and then makes the save. He slides across the crease to make the save, and I was blown away by that. Because you have to have some good speed to recognize, oh my gosh, the Germany player just barely missed it. He caught it with his blocker, and it was great. So Grubauer had an amazing game, and yeah, those are my top five moments for yesterday. In Group A, we've got Denmark at the top with three points who had a 9-1 win over Kazakhstan yesterday. Switzerland is second place who has one more goal than Canada. Germany and Slovakia both have one win and one loss. And then coming in at the bottom is France, Italy and Kazakhstan all have one loss. In Group B, Finland is at the top of the pack with two wins. Following that is Czechia, USA and Sweden all with one win. Austria, Great Britain, and Norway are up next, all with losses in their first game. And at the bottom of the B division, we've got Latvia with two losses. What I will say, though, is that Latvia has been playing amazing, and they put up a really good fight against Finland last night. They even led 1-0 into the second, so I have no doubt they'll get some points today. Now, let's take a look into the second episode of Reagan's vlog, where we went to the fan zone to check out energy at, for the Finland and Latvia fans. <laughs> Oh, hey, are we starting already? Just my carbs in for the day. She's vegan, everybody. Right, she needs vegan. the bread. Let her eat the carbs. Leave her alone, all right? Let them eat bread. Oh, look at him. Okay, what inspired your face today? Um, this guy said to me that um, he would pay if I get my whole face painted. The painting guy, he ran out of the white paint, but uh, feeling is good. Say, hey, baby, you're so uh, we are having air hockey contest next. Oh, I'm trying to win. Yeah! Sorry, I'm excited. I'm too good for this. Four one, let's go. Five. Okay. Hey, wait, where are you from? Uh, from Vaxu. Vaxu? Yes. Where's that? Uh, near Lahti. Yes! <laughs> Good game, I'm not a sore loser. Thank what? You. Thank you. Wow. Your, your helmet also. I appreciate it. Oh. Uh oh, nice save, good save. You gotta challenge it more, challenge it more. You wanna have a race? Who can get dressed faster? Uxie, go! Yeah. I gotta take off my shoes. <laughs> I can't keep it! <laughs> I can't! 
I'm very competitive and I will win almost anything except for air hockey, but I still want a jersey, so we're gonna go with it. Where do we even start? Oh, who's your favorite player? Granlund. Uh, oh yeah, you that's look, cool. You look good. Yeah. Can you see over everyone's head right now? Yeah. Yeah? You got, you got a lot on me. <laughs> I've been missing the festival and stuff, and it's like the start for the summer, and I just love it. Antla! Hey, yo, Marco! Marco! There's an IIHF filter. I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so go to the IIHF, and then you move down to the filters. I think that's the one. You guys gotta use it! Alright, smile! One, two, three! You guys are beautiful! As you can see, I am extremely competitive and I love to compete against anyone who wants to. So if you have a challenge, please let me know and I'm happy to do it. So I just wanted to reemphasize that you guys should keep tagging us at IIHF Hockey so that we can put you guys onto our socials and we can put you on the pregame skate and we'll feature you here. So we got some lucky fans I got to be on. Here we have some Finnish fans looking good with their wigs on and their jerseys. We also have Merrick Leo our mascot here and some Czech fans. Then we've got some Latvian fans looking good, lots of spirit, love it. We've also got a Finnish dog, wow, love it, that looks so good. Nice scarf, I need to get one of those, except actually I'm biased, I'm not gonna get one of those. I'm unbiased, I'm unbiased. <laughs> and then we have a cute little kid who was wearing, I think they photoshopped those glasses on him, but still cute Finnish fans, we love to see it. Thank you guys for sending those in. Make sure to keep tagging us. And also, you saw at the end of the video that we had before, there is a IIHF filter. We want you guys to use it. Tag us as much as possible. And now we're going to head to Denmark's interview with Fran Nielsen. I mean, it's been a great ride since... Uh my way the first year we we won the the b pool and then we stayed here uh, i mean it's been a lot of tournaments uh, that's it's been all about surviving and not getting relegated but i think uh, finally got to a stage where you know we we can dream a little higher you know i know it's it's ticking down now not not too many games left uh, uh, so you know it, it's going to be fun it's a great great group to uh, retire with uh, play so many games but some of those guys in there some of those are my best friends uh, and then just try and enjoy it uh, i'm going to have some family up here too and just you know try and uh, take it all in and yeah like i said like i said enjoy it and, and hopefully it's going to be uh, a good last two weeks of uh, of for me playing we got some good players and especially elos and those guys i know there's there's guys that are that are better than me, than me now on, on this team, but I just gotta, you know, do what I... Uh, try and be me, being a good two-way player and, and help the team like that, and hopefully I can chip in uh, offensively too. But yeah, try and be in the lead in the room and try and, uh, and, and help Peter uh, as the captain as much as I can and just uh, lead by example and, and work hard. I love that you guys get a chance to see these players behind the scenes. We really want to get to know our viewers. We would love for you to join Mentimeter now so that we can ask you a couple of questions after a video that we have with Carl Kleinberg. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's great. It feels almost like home. I think uh, every game will feel like home until we play Finland, then it will not play feel more away ever I think so uh, it's it's nice Finland is like Sweden we're, we're similar and it feels good you score a goal or whatever and you hear, hear the crowd for once and not just your uh, teammates so everything is way better with fans and that's how uh, the sport should be done we're not here to just participate and feel good about being here we want to fight for medals uh, fight for winning the gold and that's why we're here uh, Last year was disappointing, but we left that behind, and now it's a new year with new opportunities, and we're just going to try to seal the deal. Yeah, I mean, of course, if I can score some goals, that would be nice too, but there are other guys that can do that too. Uh, the people that know who, how I play, they know what is expected from me, and that's like hard to explain. Uh, I can do everything, but it's not always going to work, but can at least expect hard work and work for the team and 
yeah, create some room for my teammates. All right, so for our question today, we have what team are you rooting for? And in first place right now, we have Canada. That, that's pretty cool. We got second, Switzerland. They look pretty close. I think that's actually even. And then in third place, we have Sweden. So it may be a good game today. There's going to be plenty of good games actually to watch. And now we're going to take you into some fantasy hockey. So let's check out the standings from yesterday. <laughs> So I checked this out earlier this morning and I was a little upset about how I did. I talked about it a little bit on the podcast with Mike and Marav and so I'll tell you guys right now where I'm standing here in the rankings. I actually got negative one points yesterday so that, that's pretty bad. I, I hope that doesn't happen again. But I think I'm now at 1558 in the rankings. Tough go but that's all right. I'm gonna choose my team today, and Marav actually got 30 points yesterday, so I think I'm gonna do what she did, which was autofill, because clearly I am not a good GM at this point in time. So let's see, the players that it picks, all oh, Great Britain, some Norway. They wanna pick the Great Britain goalie. Hmm, all right, I'm just gonna go with it. I like it, it looks good to me. So moving on, we're gonna now check out um, today's games and do a live preview of that. All right, um, so for today's games, we have, we've got six games today, lots of hockey, lots of fun, and I know lots of fans. In Helsinki, we've got our first game at 12.20 p.m. with Canada versus Italy, which I know is gonna be a good game for Canada. Looking forward to seeing how Italy matches up against them too. In the second game, it's France versus Kazakhstan. I'm curious to see how Kazakhstan bounces back after yesterday's loss against Denmark. And the last game there will be, it's Denmark versus Switzerland. Both teams did well yesterday with high scoring games. Here in Tampere, we've got Norway versus Great Britain for our first game. And both teams lost their first games and they did not look like teams who were really connecting. So I think it might be a little bit better today. And then our second game involves Austria versus USA. USA beat Latvia 4-1 a couple of days ago and Austria is looking for their first win of the tournament. Last but not least, we've got Czechia versus Sweden. I think this is going to be a really good game. Czechia didn't come out flying against Great Britain, but they finished really strong. And Sweden also won yesterday, but they definitely need to have more puck possession today if they want to win. Now we've got two bench interviews. The first one we're going to start with is with Great Britain's Josh Walker. So over to Claire Hanna at the temporary rink. So Josh, over the last few years, you've just seen your career explode. You've been playing in the top flight in Great Britain, and now your first world championship. What has this experience been like? Uh, it's been great, obviously, to, to represent a country at this top level against the best players in the world and the best nations in the world. Um, you know, it's a huge honor, a huge, uh, really great experience. Was there a player that you watched growing up playing with Great Britain that you were so excited to join forces with? Uh, definitely, I think there's a bunch of guys that have been in the team for years. Um, you know, too many same names really, I think just to, you know, they've been here for so long and just to be here and, and play with them and learn from them, uh, it's great. And you have some chemistry already with Cade Nielsen, you've played with him in under 20s, what's it like to just grow through this experience with him? Yeah, I think it's great to, to come through the juniors together and then uh, for us both to, to make our debut here together as well, it's definitely a special moment. What are you expecting from this game against Norway today? Uh, I expect a fast paced game, I think all games will be fast paced. Uh, you know, we've done obviously our pre scout and stuff, so I think if we stick to our to our game plan and uh, you know, hopefully we'll be successful. Have fun. Thank, Thank you very much, Cheers. That was a great interview. He is a rookie, and so now we're gonna let uh, Claire get a chance to go and talk with Michael Haga from Norway. Mikael, you played in the top league in Finland last year, so you've actually played in this building before. What's it like to be back, but now with the Norwegian jersey? Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a nice uh, rink, and uh, it's fun to be playing with uh, with Norway. 
It was an incredible atmosphere for that first game when you guys played Finland. It's going to be a bit different here. So how do you create an exciting environment against Great Britain? Uh, we, we played a lot of these games uh, and uh, we know how to pump up uh, ourselves before these games. And you're a big veteran. You're adding one of your NHLers to the lineup today in Martinson. How will that change your offense? Uh, big. He's a big guy and he makes a, a lot of room for uh, us other guys. So uh, it's a big, uh, big help. Thank you and enjoy the game. I'm super excited for today's games. That's all we have for you guys today. Thank you so much for tuning in to the pregame skate. I'm your host, Reagan Russ, and we can't wait for you to join us tomorrow at 3.40 p.m. for the fourth episode of the pregame skate.